What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Bolt Ratty here, and uh, today I'm bringing you another tutorial. Um, I'm honestly having fun being active for you guys. Uh, hopefully, as I said before, you guys can pay the favor to me. But uh, one thing before I get started, uh, a lot of my videos have been getting dis-bot, uh, dislike botted lately, and honestly, uh, I don't know why. I mean... If I did something personally to you or something, at least comment and say what I did to get disliked about it. I mean, we can work something out or something. But um, I just think it's kind of sad that people just don't reveal themselves. I mean, dislike botting someone's video and not personally saying who you are doing it. I mean, honestly, not to offend anyone, but that's kind of a pussy move. But uh, anyways, let's get started. So today I'm doing a simple effect for you guys. Excuse me. Uh, some of you guys asked for this effect and it's really easy to do mainly all my stuff that I do for the like kill cam effects and stuff is it's all combining different effects together so basically this is what we're going to be creating today that effect right there as you see there's kind of like a little alien warps or something like that really nice effect and then you have like this little zooming type of deal uh, so basically let's get started. What you want to do is go ahead and import your clip. I'm not going to sync it or anything since it's a tutorial. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's, uh, let's just do this one. You just put this in here. Disable resample. And we'll go to the kill cam part. In the flesh, swinging for your fucking... So what you want to do is uh, you can just render this part out right here and Twixter it, which would be nice. But basically, I'm just going to go into uh, After Effects and show you how to do the effect. So basically, what you want to do is import your clip you just rendered out. Oops. Just import that in there. Put Twixter on it, blah, 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 all that stuff. Then you want to go to the kill, the kill part. I shoot him about mm, right here. So what you're gonna do is go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, CC Vector Blur. Really nice effect. If you mess with this, it gets. If you put it too high, it gets. It messes it up like really bad, which is. Uh, I honestly don't really like it. So what I just put my settings to are is nine for the amount. It makes it. It makes it really nice actually. I don't understand why this is going slow right now, but bear with me. See, it kind of messes the kill cam up, kind of not, but uh, you basically want to, if you, you have to have common knowledge of keyframing. So, uh, as you see right here, uh, basically, if you have Twix around this or whatever and blah, 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 you need a keyframe. So, well, where you shoot, you want to have the amount at 9 or however you want it. Hit the stopwatch, go to where you want it to end at. So, we'll just put this. And change it to zero and as you see you have like a nice effect like that but if you go back towards your timeline you'll notice that it's right there it's like on it so what you need to do is keyframe so just put this to zero towards the start of it actually all you gotta do is just drag this keyframe right before it starts so So it's like that it's a really nice effect to do um, another thing you can do with this is as I said before combining effects combining effects is the key to making a good little, little effect you know what I mean so go back to blur and sharpen and add some fast blur as you see right here it like uh, zooms in and zooms out like this it's kind of nice kind of not depends on what your settings are so what you want to do is go to the keyframe where uh, you have the amount for your vector blur and the nine right there so you want to change the amount on the radial blur to 64 and you want to hit the stopwatch so that way both of the effects are under each other and then you want to go to the end where this keyframe ends and you just want to change this to zero basically you want to do the same thing again go to the start of your other keyframe where you have the other zero just put this to zero so then when it does a kill cam you have the nice little effect of the uh, <clears throat> the, 
vector blur but what you can do if you don't notice it that much you can go ahead and adjust this amount so it's like this and then it'll still end up adjusting but it's honestly a really good effect to do uh, it just brings out some of the kill camps and whatnot but hopefully I made it clear for you guys and uh, hopefully you guys subscribe and stay active favorite like my videos thanks guys